coming up on the championship match of High School Quiz Show, we have Boston Latin School. <laughs> Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't always obvious. Home cyber protection from Safety Insurance can help you protect yourself from cyber attacks. You can ask an independent agent about Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage live storms. Additional funding is provided by Museum of Science. The Museum of Science, featuring a new film, Cuba. Through the eyes of Cuban artists, historians, and scientists, you can take a look at what makes this island nation so unique and vivacious. Now playing at the Museum of Science's Mugar Omni Theater. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the final match of a High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa. Back in uh, November, over 100 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And today's championship matchup has Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on Boston Latin School. And on the Acton Boxborough team, we have Nathan, Sid, Basil, and Nathra with alternate Ryan and coach Susan Irvis Bo Miller. <laughs> and for the Boston Latin team, we've got Aiden, Nick, Christy, and Sebastian with alternates Lucas and Sam and coaches Andy Zhao and Clara Webb. <laughs> Here we go. The competition has four rounds. A toss-up, a head-to-head -head round, a category round, and a lightning round. We're going to start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So if teams are ready, good luck. And uh, here we go. With 12 million people, what is the largest city in Russia by population? Yes, Sebastian. Moscow. Yes, in Homer's Odyssey, what Greek island in the Ionian Sea is the home of Odysseus's palace? Yes, Christy. The girl. Yes, according to a famous quote by Dr. Martin Luther King, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward what? Yes, Sebastian. Justice. Correct. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is a residential area of Hawaii's Big Island. A fissure is spewing lava and gas from what volcano that erupted in May of 2018? Yes, Aiden. Mauna Kea. No, you want to try Acton Boxborough Basil. Kilauea. Yes. Our Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev invented the modern periodic table of elements during the middle part of what century? Yes, Basil. The 19th century. Yes, in 2018, what celebrity chef and author won two posthumous Emmy Awards for his travel series, Parts Unknown? Yes, Aiden. Anthony Bourdain. Yes. In uh, The Scarlet Letter, what Protestant Christian sect is described as the most intolerant brood that ever lived? Basil. Puritanism. Yes. Uh, to avoid being confused with Switzerland, in 2018, what African kingdom changed its name to Iswatini, making it the only nation on Earth not to capitalize its first letter. Yes, Nathan. Swaziland. Yes. Take a look at your screens. The governor has a question for you. Hello, I'm Charlie Baker, governor of Massachusetts. Here's my question. In 1630, while still aboard the ship Arbella, what prominent Puritan and future governor of Massachusetts said we shall be as a city upon a hill the eyes of all people are upon us. Yes, Aiden. Winthrop. 
John Winthrop is correct. Iodine deficiency is the most common cause of what abnormal swelling of the thyroid gland in the neck? Yes, Basil. Goiter. Goiter is right. Slaves and masters would switch places during what carnival-like festival celebrated by ancient Romans on December 17th of the Julian calendar? Yes, Sebastian. Saturnalia. Yes, the Great Lakes region of North America includes how many Great Lakes? Yes, Basil. Five. Five is correct. Which of the following trees is not a conifer? Is it A larch, B spruce, or C holly? Yes, Basil. C. C holly is correct. Math question. What type of triangle has an angle that's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees? Yes, Basil. An obtuse triangle. Yes. What river is the largest and longest tributary of the Columbia River? Yes, Sebastian. Snake River. Yes. One of Argentina's most beloved and controversial political figures who served as first lady of her country from 1946 until her death in 1952. Yes, Basil. Eva Perón. Yes, in 1776, who went to France as the first American ambassador received by a foreign government. Yes, Nick. Benjamin Franklin. Yes, The River and Brian's Winter are sequels to what Gary Paulson novel that is a survival story of a boy stranded in the Canadian wilderness. Yes, Nathan. Hatchet. Hatchet is right. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, my name is Ayanna Presley, and in 2018, I became the first black woman elected to represent Massachusetts in Congress. Here's my question. What fierce advocate for minorities and women in 1968 out of New York made history becoming the first black woman elected to Congress? Yes, Basil. Shirley Chisholm. That is correct. Which of the following radioactive isotopes has a half-life of 4.5 billion years? Is it A, carbon-14, B, uranium-238, or C, plutonium-239? Yes, Basil. B. Uranium-238 is correct. In defeating Serena Williams at the 2018 U.S. Open, who became the first Japanese player, male or female, to win a Grand Slam final? Yes, Basil. Osaka. Correct. In 1928, who launched the first of several five-year plans that radically altered the Soviet Union? Yes, Aiden. Stalin. Yes. An inside look at the first nine months of the Trump administration. What controversial book by journalist Michael Wolff was one of the top-selling books of 2018? Yes, Christy. Fire and Fury. Yes, math question. A boy is 17 years old. His sister is twice as old. When the boy is 23 years old, what will be the age of his sister? Aiden. 40. 40 is correct. Uh, the girl from Ipanema is a famous example of what style of Brazilian music that is a fusion of samba and jazz and roughly means new trend in Portuguese. Yes, Christy. Bossa Nova. Yes. What was the first name of the Pope who, in 1582, devised a new calendar uh, that reflects the solar dating system now in general use? Yes, Basil. Gregory. Yes. What California city is the setting for Armistad Mopan's Tales of the City? Yes, Basil. San Francisco. Correct. Allegiance, a musical set in a Japanese-American internment camp in World War II, is inspired by the personal experience of what actor who played Sulu on Star Trek? Yes, Sebastian. Uh, Takei. Yes. In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what factory workers sing a song each time a child makes his or her exit? Yes, Aiden. The Oompa Loompas. Yes, named after the scientist who discovered it. Uh, what cycle refers to the light independent reactions that occur during the second stage of photosynthesis? Yes, Christy. Calvin cycle. Correct. Uh, honor, self discipline, and bravery are the basis of what samurai code of conduct that means the way of the warrior? Yes, Basil. Bushido. Correct. What U.S. state is home to Mount Elbert, the highest peak of the Rocky Mountains? Yes, Christy. Colorado. Yes, founded in 1971, what U.S. political party opposes many of the traditional services and regulatory powers of federal, state, and local governments? Yes, Aiden. The Libertarian Party. Correct. Known by the acronym FOIA, what 1966 law grants the public access to information issued by government agencies? Yes, Sebastian. Freedom of Information Act. Yes, in 1920, the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth's contract for $100,000 to what team that had never won a World Series championship? Yes, Aiden. New York Yankees. Yes, after Hurricane... Oh! That's the bell that ends round one. The score right now, Acton-Boxborough, 160 points. 
Boston Latin School, 190 points. We've got ourselves a championship here. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we like to get to know the contestants just a little better. We're going to start over here with Acton Boxborough. So, Nathan, uh, you're all here as members of a team, yet you're all unique individuals. So, tell us something about yourself that sets you apart. Well, uh, I can wiggle my ears. Really? Let me see. Oh, wow, he can actually wiggle his ears. That's so cool. Okay, is that it? Okay, <laughs> that's enough. Sid, how about you? Uh, well, actually, I'm a Broncos fan when, with the NFL, so. Ooh. Okay, all right, shh. Uh, Basil, you? Uh, I once ate a tarantula. So you ate the tarantula on purpose? Yeah, I went for it, you know? Well, I would say that separates you, Basil. Uh, Nathra, how about you? For the past three years, I was the only girl on the quiz bowl team. Oh, there we go, all right, okay. How about that, huh? Go, Nathra. Uh, Boston Latin School, Aiden, how about you? Uh, I read anywhere from two to three hours of Wikipedia every day. Every single day? Yeah. Real, how long has that been going on? I don't, I don't really know. I, don't, yeah. I was a weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, how about you? My spirit animal is a panther. You don't kind of have one around the house or something. Uh, I wish. Yeah, <laughs> don't you? Uh, Christy? Uh, I think the most unique thing about me is my great, wonderful teammates. Oh, well, look, he's looking for some bonus points from the teammates right there. That's good. Sebastian, you. My genetic sequence makes me unique. <laughs> you know what, Sebastian? I'm just going to let that go. All right, I'm just going to let that go. All right, it's time to go head to head. You guys know the drill. You've been here before on High School Quiz Show. Uh, all of you now have a chance to come on down and go head to head. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> to go head to head. I have Boston Latin to my left, Acton Boxborough to my right. Gentlemen, you want to shake hands and get things going? Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, although incorrect answers in this round will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. Uh, the clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck. And here we go. Which planet in the solar system is named after the Roman goddess of love? And be yes. Venus. Yes. Uh, what herbivore is the tallest mammal in the world? Yes. Giraffe. Yes. In the Harry Potter novels, what is the name of Ron Weasley's... Uh, yes. Ginny. Yes. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for lead? Yes. PB. Yes. Uh, on July 9th, 2018, Starbucks announced it was joining a growing movement to ban plastic what? Yes. Straws. Yes. In 1876, who patented the telephone? Yes. Uh, uh, Norse. No, Alexander Graham Bell. Name the longest river that flows through Texas. Yes. Oh, uh, Brazos. No, the Rio Grande. The uh, slogan he kept us out of war was used by what? Yes. Woodrow Wilson. Yes. Uh, what U.S. state is the birthplace of uh, Zydeco music? No. Okay. Louisiana was the answer. Uh, what volcano on the island of Sicily is one of the most active? Etna. Yes, Mount Etna. Uh, the abbreviation CF stands for what genetic? Uh, Confer. No, cystic fibrosis. In 2018, some people set fire to their sneakers to protest what? Yes. Colin Kaepernick? No, Nike would have been the answer. What is the largest country in the European Union by population? Uh, Germany. Yes. Uh, what's the most expensive property in the classic American board game Monopoly? Yes. Boardwalk? Yes. In Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, what boy who comes from a well-respected family? Yes. Tom Sawyer? Yes. In 2015, after 35 years, what country announced the end of its one-child policy? Ooh. Uh, the answer would have been China, but that's the bell that ends the round. Take a look at the score right now. Acton Buxborough, 190 points. Boston Latin, 210 points. What a championship round we've got going here. Okay, next up is the category round. And today we are paying tribute to the Queen of Soul, uh, Aretha Franklin, who died last year. All categories are named after songs immortalized by Aretha. And they are Chain of Fools, Natural Woman, Rock Steady, Think, Freeway of Love, 
and R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, yes, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer, and we will need your answer. So, Acton Boxborough, you've got a tiny bit of ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'll have Rock Steady for 10 points, please. Okay, Rock Steady. Questions about rocks and minerals. For 10 points, which of the three major rock types are you most likely to find where a river used to run? Yes, Nick? Sedimentary. Yes. Uh, now, you've got the board Boston Latin category. Uh, we're going to go for respect for 10. Questions about the late Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. And for 10 points, Aretha Franklin was born in 1942 in Memphis, although uh, she grew up and lived most of her life in what northern city? Uh, yes, Nathan. Chicago? No, Boston Latin, you want to try it? Detroit is uh, the answer. Boston Latin, you've still got the board category. Uh, think for 10. Okay, think. Questions about philosophy and for 10 points in the allegory of the cave what greek philosopher argued that our sensory perceptions might not be accurate yes aiden plato plato is right you've still got the board stick with it we'll stay with think uh this time for 15 points what german philosopher wrote about an ideal human being or superman whose uh distance from the ordinary man is greater than the distance between man and ape Yes, Aiden. Nietzsche. Yes, and you've still got the board Boston Latin. Stick with it. Think for 20 points. In his 1651 masterpiece, uh, Leviathan, what English philosopher argues that people are naturally cruel, greedy, and selfish? Yes, Sebastian. Hobbes. Thomas Hobbes is right. You've still got the board Boston Latin. Think for 25, please. For 25 points. Man is born free and everywhere he is in chains. Who wrote this in The Social Contract, a work that helped inspire the French Revolution? Yes, Aiden. Rousseau? Yes, that is correct. You've still got the board, Boston Latin. Finish it. We'll finish Think, this time for 30 points. What French philosopher wrote the 1949 treatise The Second Sex, a feminist classic that analyzes the oppression of women throughout history? Yes, Basil. Simone de Beauvoir. That is correct. And Acton Boxborough, you get the board. You'll need a category, though. We'll go back to Rocksteady for 15 points, please. For 15 points, named after the German scientist who developed it in 1812, what scale is commonly used to rank the hardness of minerals? Yes, Sebastian. Mohs scale. The Mohs scale is right. You've got the board, Boston Latin. Category. Uh, natural woman for 10, please. Natural woman. Questions about notable women. And for 10 points. In 1963, what American chemist invented Kevlar, an ultra-strong material used in bulletproof vests? <laughs> Stephanie Qualick would be the answer there. And uh, you've still got the board Boston Latin category. Chain of fools for 10, please. Chain of fools. All questions include the word fool. And for 10 points, uh, you can fool all of the people some of the time and some of the people all of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. Now, this quote is often attributed to what 16th U.S. president? Yes, Nick. Lincoln. Yes, you've still got the board, Boston Latin. Freeway of love for 10. Here we go. Freeway of love questions about famous streets. And for 10 points, what landmark street is the home of the New York Stock Exchange? Basil. Wall Street. Wall Street is right. Acton Boxborough, you've got the board. Uh, we'll go back to Rocksteady for 20, please. 20 points, Rocksteady. Uh, with the exception of trace elements that affect color, the chemistry of a ruby is the same as what other gemstone? Yes, Christy. Garnet. No, Acton Boxborough, you want to try it. Basil. A sapphire. Sapphire is correct. And Acton Boxborough, you get the board category. We'll stick with Rocksteady for 25, please. For 25 points. In 1958, jeweler Harry Winston spent $2.44 in postage to mail what famous 45.5 carat gemstone he donated to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C.? Yes, Nick. Hope. The Hope Diamond is correct. You've got the board Boston Latin category. Chain of Fools for 15. 15 points. Uh, the wise man does at once what the fool does finally. This sentiment is attributed to what author of the political treatise, The Prince? Yes, Christy. Machiavelli. That is correct. You've got the board Boston Latin category, please. Ten of fools for 20, please. Okay. In uh, 1981, what former lead singer of the Supremes uh, scored a top ten hit with Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Yes, Aiden. Diane Ross. 
No, Acton Boxborough. You want to try it? Diana Ross is uh, the answer. Boston Latin, you've still got the board. Category. Chain of Fools for 25. For 25 points. Known for his mohawk and gold chains, what actor and professional wrestler who starred in Rocky III and the A-Team popularized the phrase, I pity the fool. Aiden. Mr. T. Mr. T is right. You've still got the board. Boston Latin category. Let's finish it. Chain of Fools for 30 points. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. What chief songwriter for The Who wrote this in 1971's Won't Get Fooled Again? Pete Townsend of The Who. And you've still got the board, Boston Latin. You'll need a category. A natural woman for 15, please. Okay, for 15 points. Fueled by her own experience with autism, uh, what noted expert in animal science invented a squeeze machine as a deep pressure calming device to help manage anxiety? Temple Grandin is the answer there, and you've got the board Boston Latin category. Natural woman, please. For 20 points. Uh, the daughter of the poet Lord Byron, what gifted mathematician wrote a complex algorithm that's considered to be the world's first computer program? Yes, Aiden. Lovelace. Lovelace is correct. You've still got the board Boston Latin category. Stick with it. Staying with Natural Woman for 25 points. Bombshell is a documentary about what beautiful movie star who in 1942 invented frequency hopping, a technology used by your cell phone, GPS, and Wi-Fi. Hedy Lamar is uh, the answer there. And uh, you've still got the board Boston Latin. What's it going to be? Stay with it. Natural woman for 30 points. What rear admiral in the U.S. Navy is known as the mother of computing for inventing technology that led to COBOL in early programming language? Grace Hopper is the answer there. And Boston Latin, you've still got the board. You'll need a category. A uh, freeway of love for 15, please. 15 points. Uh, what Grand Avenue in Washington, D.C. connects the U.S. Capitol building to the White House? And Nick. Pennsylvania Ave. That is correct. You've still got the board. Boston Latin category. Freeway of Love for 20. Okay, the last album the Beatles ever recorded. What 1969 album is known for its iconic cover showing John, Paul, George, and Ringo stepping into a crosswalk? Yes, Nathra. Abbey Road. That is correct. It's a famous cover. Act in Box Bar, you've got the board. Category. Uh, can we do respect for 15, please? 15 points. Franklin has a memorable cameo performing Think in what 1980 cult comedy starring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd? <laughs> Blues Brothers. That'd be the Blues Brothers. But you, you, oh, And that's the bell ending the category round. Take a look at the score right now. Acton, Boxborough, 260 points. Boston Latin, 300. 75 points, everybody. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. This is the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Teams for the championship. Here we go. What country is officially known as the Hellenic Republic? Yes, Basil. Greece. Yes. Uh, heat is measured in quantities of BTU, which stands for what? Yes, Christy. British thermal unit. Yes. What common term for a small cup of coffee means half cup in French? Yes, Christy. Uh, sorry. Demitas would have been the answer. Uh, what Italian city is home to a famous art museum called the Uffizi? Florence. Yes, Aiden. Say that again. Florence. Yes. Uh, what U.S. president was in office during the stock market crash of 1929? Yes, Basil. Hoover. Yes, in 2018, Rahm Emanuel announced he would not seek a third term as mayor of what's... Yes, Sebastian. Chicago. Yes, what part of the nervous system is known as the PNS? Yes, Basil. The peripheral nervous system. Yes, in 2018, what rock star began his final world tour? Farewell. Yes, Basil. David Bowie. No, Elton John. Uh, grassy plains called Llanos and Pampas are commonly found in what continent? Yes, Basil. South America. Yes, the Broadway musical Rent is loosely based on what? Yes, Christy. Bohemian. Yes, what Japanese city was selected to host the 2020 Summer Olympics? Yes, Sebastian. Tokyo. Yes, alkali metals like lithium tend to lose how many electrons? Yes, Christy. One. Yes. Uh, what southeastern U.S. state is the setting for the novel Their Eyes Were Watching? Yes, Basil. Mississippi. No, Florida. Name the smallest Canadian province by area. 
Yes, Christy. Of Prince Edward Island. Yes, in 1799, what British chemist discovered the anesthetic effects of nitrous oxide? Yes, Christy. Of Priestley? No, Sir Humphrey Davy. And that is the bell. Ending the season, the high school quiz show champion, season 10, Boston Latin School, with a score of 475 points. The runner-up with an amazing season, Acton Boxborough, with a score of 300 points. Now, congratulations to both teams for a great game and a great season. Boston Latin moves on now to play in our Interstate Invitational. So be sure to tune in. We'll see you all back here next week, everybody, for a high school quiz show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Trees are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by University of Massachusetts Amherst. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. A production of WGBH.